Do you have a first date coming up and need advice on how not to fuck it up this time? Well, here's some do's and don'ts. Number one, don't get her flowers. You're trying way too hard, and it looks like you never pull bitches. Good evening, America. Welcome to New November Presents, Truthfully XL. And recently, there's been a, uh, a list circulating online. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know who made it. I don't know who's responsible for this list. I just know that it's a list compiled of the many things that a female will not do on her first date. Uh, so now we got a list, fellas. So now it's something you can work with, right? Wrong. Wrong. Um, I, I can't tell you who made the list, but I can tell you something about who made the list. Whoever made this list, there's nothing wrong with you, but you are a bit superficial. You have a lot of experience and you travel a little bit. You're a wanderer. You're probably a wanderer. Now, let me continue. Um, the list of restaurants a woman refuses to go to on her first date. Now, I, I would like to read the list really, really briefly for you if I can. Uh, restaurants and uh, damn restaurants and things that a woman cannot do on her first date. If I can, if I can read that for you. Uh, the Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies, your house, uh, the food, any fast food chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Red Lobster, a buffet, IHOP, Denny's. The gym, uh, church, Starbucks, coffee, ice cream, family functions, Netflix and chill. Uh, something requires somewhere that requires a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, hookah bars, a bar in general, Waffle House, or any sporting event. Now, with that being said, right? I, 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 I understand some of that. But to counteract that, if if we are dealing with what I think we're dealing with, fellas, we are dealing with a, I want to say, hyper baddie. Now, this is a baddie who's had experience in that she is not going to go for anything less than what she feels she has already experienced already. There's nothing wrong with that. She has standards that she has set for herself. Now, here is where we can counteract that if you want to be with that baddie. Now, check it out, right? From the playbook is real. You could try a play, something on Broadway. Person, I, I would specifically say something on Broadway because you don't want to take her to some rinky dink old bullshit play. She's like, I didn't really like it. Then you take her out to eat and eat. And it's not really. Take her to something high class. What she's searching for is culture. Your culture, his culture, their culture, any culture. She needs culture in her life. So a play. Maybe an opera, a ballet, something where she has to sit down and really be quiet and think and put her phone away. See, you, she wants to be challenged at another level. So, here it is, bitch, another level, right? Um, or, or you could rent out a pain and sip. Say, say, say you are more simplistic. You don't want to do that yourself. You know, a pain and sip. You, you want to make it intimate so you make the place just for you, her, and the nigga who's teaching y'all, right? So it's a pain and sip with just y'all three. You know what I'm saying? A little intimate conversation. That nigga needs to mind his business. Just give me the instructions on what we need to paint. And you know what I'm saying? Just sip away, right? Now I know she said she didn't want to drink, but at bitch, it's not the bar. Here we go, right? Um... Mm, maybe a boat ride a large boat though like not not no little not your granddaddy's boat that been sitting in the backyard for 25 years that's not the boat that she was thinking about when you say boat she was thinking about you was going to rent out some type of speed boat that she could maybe lay on the front and get a soak in her tan you know what i'm saying maybe a boat ride like that maybe you go cook while she soaks you know if you're not a boat driver yourself you may want to hire somebody to take care of that responsibility for you i don't want you lost at sea my brother it's your uncle izzy i'm here to help you you know what i'm saying or you could do a ski a ski trip you know what i'm saying to get a little, little lodge just you two romantic set a fire get on the, the I, i've never personally been skiing myself so i can't tell you how to do you when it's time to, to, to ski because I'm I am black I don't know if, if y'all know out there in, in the in TV world I am black so I don't do a lot of snow adventures but I'll tell you this that might be your ticket in for the win if you know what I'm saying now I I do believe that that's this list is a little superficial and it's a little like what the fuck out of left field where did this even come from you know what i mean but at the same time there's nothing wrong with having standards for yourself and there's nothing wrong with setting those expectations early so whoever made the list i applaud you i applaud you for doing that but just next time put a name on it thank y'all for listening man i'm out